mutants and semaphores both concepts are used in concurrent programming to prevent race conditions in the code if you are not familiar with the concept of race conditions please watch my video on race conditions before proceeding race conditions occur when a shared resource is accessed by different actors at the same time both mutants and semaphores help managing access to shared resources but they do it in different ways understanding how and when to use each is critical in writing safe and efficient concurrent code let's start with mutants the name mutants comes from the term mutual exclusion which means single access to shared resource imagine a telephone booth only one person can be inside at a time everyone else has to wait outside until that person finishes and comes out that's exactly what a mutants does it ensures exclusive access to a resource only one thread can enter the critical section at any given moment now let's bring that idea into a technical scenario suppose you are building a collaborative document editing app multiple users may try to edit the same document at the same time but allowing simultaneous writes can lead to conflicts or data corruption so the system needs to synchronize access something like this a user sends a write request the system locks the document using a mutants allow the user to write then releases the lock so that the next user can proceed this way the document is always updated safely and consistently even when many users are trying to contribute at once that's mutants in action one at a time but keeping everything in order now semaphore is a bit different it also helps to avoid race condition by locking the shared resource but unlike mutants semaphores allow multiple controlled access to a shared resource imagine you go to a supermarket and buy some groceries there are three checkout counters once three people occupy the counters the fourth person has to wait here the grocery market's checkout system is a shared resource a maximum of three people are allowed to use it at the same time the counter is like a semaphore which gives access to the system for maximum three people at the same time now let's consider some technical scenarios imagine your application needs to connect to a database but the database can only handle five connections at a time if more connections try to come in the system slows down or fails to manage this we can use a semaphore here is how it works whenever a new request comes in it first ask the semaphore for permission if one of the five slots is available the request is allowed to connect if all five slots are in use the request simply waits until one becomes free once a connection finishes the slot is released and the next waiting request proceeds this approach keeps your system responsive and prevents overloading the database to wrap up let's quickly look at the key differences between a mutants and a semaphore a mutants is a mutual exclusion lock it allows only one thread to access a critical section at a time think of it like a locked door that only one person can pass through a semaphore on the other hand allows multiple threads to access the same resource simultaneously it's like a waiting room with n number of seats if all are occupied new arrivals have to wait in a mutants the lock is binary it's either locked or unlocked but with the semaphore it's a counter for example with a count of 5 the semaphore stays open until five threads enter after that others must wait both tools are used for synchronization but mutants is ideal for exclusive access while semaphores are better suited for limited concurrent access now let's see how to use mutants and semaphores in some popular programming languages now let's start with the simple mutants in golang here we declare a sync.mutants then call lock function before entering the critical section and then call unlock function once we are done this ensures only one go routine can access the protected code at any time now here is a semaphore in go using a buffered channel the capacity here is 3 meaning only 3 go routines can enter at a time when a worker acquires a slot it sends an empty struct into the channel when it is done it receives from the channel to re- release the slot In Java the easiest way to use a mutants is with the synchronized keyword. This locks the block for only one thread at a time. The lock object ensures exclusive access. Here is a Java semaphore using the Java util concurrent package. With the count of 3, only 3 threads can access the critical section at once. Others will block until a permit is released. In Python we use threading.lock for mutual exclusion. using a with block automatically handles acquiring and releasing the lock and here is a python semaphore we initialize it with a count of 
only three threads can enter the with block at the same time others will wait so to recap use a mutex when only one thread should access a shared resource at a time use a semaphore when you want to allow a limited number of threads like 3 or 5 to access something concurrently both help you avoid race conditions but in different ways have you ever used a mutex or semaphore in your code or faced any issues with concurrency let me know in the comments i'd love to hear about how you handled it thank you